G'day, welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to show you how to add fractions with different denominators instantly without all that messing around that you've probably been taught in school where you have to find common denominators and all that sort of junk. We're going to skip all that step, right? And I'm going to get you straight into it. So let's just get into an example. Let's get one quarter and to this we're going to add uh, one third. Nice easy one to start off with. They will get harder. So how do we go about getting our answer here. Well, first off, let's get the bottom number, the denominator. We're going to get our two denominators from what we've got here, the fourth and the three, and we are going to multiply these. Four times three, we've got our denominator, which is 12. The next step is we're going to start at the top left here with our one, and we're going to multiply it by this number here on the bottom right. So let's multiply those. One times three is equal to three. The next step is we're going to start at the bottom left here and we're going to multiply it by this number at the top right here. Okay, so 1 times 4 is equal to 4. And because we're adding, let's put the addition symbol there. So what have we got? We have the following. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. The bottom number, the denominator, is 12. And there's our answer. As you can see, there's not tons of working out, working out the common denominators, We've pretty much just done this directly. So what about another example? Okay, what about we do this one? What about we do uh, two thirds and to this we're going to add uh, three fifths. Okay, a bit harder now, a bit bigger, and I can tell you that our answer is going to be over one. So we are going to have to simplify it at the end. And occasionally you will have to do that. So first off, let's get our answers here. Uh, three times five is equal to 15. For the next part of our answer, we're going to multiply this by this. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. The next one, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And we're going to add our answers. We're adding fractions here. So 10 plus 9 is equal to 19 over 15. Now we can simplify this further. We've got an improper fraction answer here, but let's simplify it now. 19 divided by 15 is equal to 1. And there is 4 left over. The 4 goes there and our bottom denominator here goes here. Okay, so 1 and 4 fifteenths. Alright, one more example. Then I'm going to give a bunch of them to you to do. Okay, for our third example, let's get 3 quarters. And to this, let's add 3 over 7. I'm going to give you a bunch of these to do in a second. But we'll just get through this example. Uh, we have this line here. And let's work out our denominator. 4 times 7 is 28. Let's work out top left times the bottom right. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Uh, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And we are adding here. So 21 plus 12 is 33. 33 over 28. What does this equal? Well, we can simplify this a bit further now. 33 divided by 28 is 1. And there is 5 left over. Uh, 5, it's going to go over 28. Anyway, what about a few examples for you to do? Okay, what about we go uh, 1 quarter, and to this we're going to add uh, 3 over 5. You can do that one, and we're also going to do uh, 2 over 9, and to this we're going to add uh, 1 over 4, a quarter. <laughs> let's see what our answers are. So, first off, let's work this out. Okay, uh, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Alright, next we have 1 times 5, and this is equal to 5. We have this one here, 3 times 4, this is equal to 12. And we're going to be adding here, this is equal to 17 over 20. How'd you go with that? Let's have a look at the second one here. Uh, okay, 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Uh, the next one we're going to be doing is 2 times 4 is equal to 8. To this, we're going to be adding 1 times 9, which is 9. And, all right, we've got a plus in there. 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. 17 over 36. And we can't simplify these guys anymore, so we're going to leave our answers there how they are. Anyway, what did you think of that? That is how you go through and you add fractions with different denominators instantly. 
Now you can probably guess what we're going to do when we're subtracting fractions with different denominators instantly, but I'm going to save that for another video. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.